San Diego Community News Group, and the Ugly News Team are here at Laguna Woods with author Jeannie Sander. New book coming out is... Finding Unconditional Love, A Little Peace, P-E-A-C-E, at a time. I get it. Uh, the preface of the book shares with the reader um, what the purpose of the book is really and some of the questions that it answers. And it says, have you ever wondered if peace is really possible? And when we're coming from unconditional love, then we choose to give them a positive um, meaning. Now, prior to this, did you ever author or read the book called Conditional Love? Like, I love you only if. Did you ever read that No, one? I haven't. I want to share with you the very beginning of my journey called First Glimpse. You see, the key to unconditional love is it is a love without ego. There are as many paths to unconditional love as there are people. So how do I break that process of conditional love? I mean, uh, so you're telling me I can love the, uh, the trash man the same as my wife in the condition, unconditional love? Oh, that's a very good question. Mm. Um, yes. But the so if every time I watch the news and someone dies, I'm going to go into like total hysterics because I lost another one of my unconditional loving friends. How do I protect myself unconditionally from completely abusing my heart then? Have you ever like, wondered that? Is having a consistently joyful life really possible? Is freedom from emotional, psychological, and even physical pain really possible? I know the answer is yes. In conditional love, the ego is always involved. I mean, not just, not just my physical self. So once I get beyond the fact that I have nice headshots, I start looking at the internal things that keep me ticking. Is that correct? Yeah. And the enemy. My thoughts. Beneath the surface of the sea. Now this will explain some of the things, some of the analogies that I use throughout the book to refer to some of the lessons I learned. The book is about okay. my life's journey in search of peace and joy and finding that unconditional love is really the key to the whole thing. Has to, this book is not dogmatic. It doesn't uh, tell you what is truth and what isn't truth and all of that sort of thing. Each of us has to find our own way struggles that a lot of people go through and but all's well that ends well and my spiritual search for for peace and joy led me to unconditional love which is what has been the key to having a happy ending i have a spiritual vessel which appears to be vulnerable to the emotional and psychological barnacles floating the sea of life that adhere themselves to me in a very strong way so if I read this book and everyone takes the, the principles of this book, anger management classes would not be necessary. Actually, that's very true because anger comes from fear. And when we're coming from unconditional love, there is no fear. No fear. No fear. So fear factor would be canceled. <laughs> Except for its entertainment value. Okay, because you know, because I was thinking about this. If everyone got along, there would be no arc of a character. You realize that, right? Yeah, there would be no theater. Uh, it would be. So yeah, you're a I theater think, killer. Uh, yes, and even yet you're I'm, an artist. I'm an artist. I'm an actor. The ego. The ego is our attachment to our human identities. All suffering comes from the ego since it is only our egos that are capable of experiencing attachment. So long as we are attached to our egos, our spiritual identity will have difficulty surfacing. Unconditional love, that that's who we are, that's what the higher power is, that's what the origin of life is, um, it's love. And it is love without any conditions. It is freedom beyond comprehension. What do you think so far? Just out of curiosity. Good. Are you liking it? Yes. Okay. Huh? Can't wait, to read it. Can't wait to read it? Oh, good. It's working. <laughs> All right, where can I find unconditional love? Well, anyone can go to jeansanner.com, and that's J E A N N E mm. S as in Sam, mm -hmm. A N N E R. So, like sinner. It's just like sinner, only the second letter is an A. And that's what makes it unconditionally lovely. Yeah. <laughs> if I choose to ignore my ego and move toward the light, the shadow will automatically get smaller. And when I finally step directly under the light again, my ego will completely disappear. 
So you actually preach what you what you say. And I like, try to live what what I believe. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I've seen you. I've seen you hug the trash man. <laughs> I mean, Jim, the sound guy, unconditionally turned the sound down because he loves you, too. Yeah, well, I, and I love Jim. <laughs> <laughs>